Before the measurements begin, we will want to start with a few guidelines in order to obtain the most accurate measurements. It is ideal for the subject to be in a pair of trousers and shirt that fits well. The subject should remove all items from his pockets. Subject should remove his belt. Next, make sure his shirt is properly tucked in. During the measurement process, the subject should remain in a relaxed posture. He should not suck in, flex, or move out of a relaxed standing position. Measure around the fullest part of subject's chest while standing in front of him. The tape measure should be at the largest part of the chest in the front and just below the blades in the back, making sure the tape measure is level all the way around. Measure around the largest part of the subject's stomach, which is typically level with the belly button. Standing at subject's side, measure around the largest part of his seat, making sure the tape is level all the way around. Identify the bone at the top of each shoulder. Measure from shoulder bone to bone following the natural curve just below the neckline. Make sure subject's arms are relaxed. Measure starting at shoulder endpoint, down the natural contour of the arm, and stop one inch below the bottom of the wrist bone. Measure from the bottom of the subject's collar, down, past the seat to the desired jacket length. With subject's arms completely relaxed, measure around the largest part of the bicep. There should be no slack in the measuring tape. Measure around the circumference of subject's waistline with no slack in the tape. Make sure the tape is inside the pant line all the way around the pant. Starting at the side of the pant, measure from the top of the waistband down to the floor. Subtract one inch for a conservative full break, one and a half inches for a medium break, and two inches for no break. First, identify subject's knee location. Now measure from crease to crease. Then double that number for finished measurement. Measure around the thigh just below the crotch, making sure the tape is level all the way around. At the bottom of the subject's trousers, measure crease to crease, then double that number for a finished measurement. Measure from the top of the front waistband centered above the zipper and measure around the crotch up to the top of the back waistband allowing the tape measure to make contact with the inseam area of the pant. Measure around the neck and arrive at a soft V in front of subject's neck, emulating the shape of a fastened collar. Start with the one of the tape measure on the shoulder seam where it meets the collar. Measure down the front of the body to desired shirt length. Typical length is level with bottom of the zipper. This can be increased or decreased based on customer's desire. Measure around the wrist at bone level, then add 3 inches for a finished measurement. 